right we have already made some basic concepts about the electrical activity of the heart now we will discuss first that what are the electrical events in the heart during one cardiac cycle what is our discussion first of all we will discuss about the electrical events in the heart electrical events in heart during yes please during one cardiac cycle right and then we will see that how these electrical events in the heart translate into vectors is that right how the different electrical events in the heart during one cardiac cycle translate or they lead to formation of cardiac vectors that is cardiac vectors and then we will see that how these cardiac vectors which are produced these electrical vectors which are produced during one cardiac cycle how they are translated into yes please ecg pattern different waves and intervals right so again we are going to discuss further discussion is in three phases number 1 what are the electrical events in the heart and different electrical events during one cardiac cycle what type of electrical vectors and cardiac vectors are produced and eventually how those cardiac vectors are translated into ecg pattern let's suppose here is your heart right i draw a big heart here and of course this is your which chambers atrial chambers and what are here ventricular chambers right now you know electrical activity in the heart start with the depolarization of sa node in a normal heart we are going to talk about the electrical activity of normal heart right previously we discussed only activity electrical activity in few cells now we are talking about whole heart generating electrical patterns so at the beginning of the cardiac cycle sa node fires and when sa node fires it generates generates the wave of depolarization the wave of depolarization which is produced by sa node right let me make a simple heart here that wave of depolarization which is generated by sa node first of all it stimulates the cells which are near the sa node the cells which are adjacent to the sa node let's suppose these are the cells first of all they are stimulated and these cells undergo depolarization first group of cell and as you know these cells will be connected with the next group of cells that will lead to depolarization of the second group of cells and of course then depolarization will move from the second group of the cells to the third group of cells so as as soon as sa node fires wave of depolarization is produced right and this wave of depolarization which is first produced near the sa node right this wave of depolarization start moving to the next group of cells eventually what happen we see that electrical current or wave of depolarization is sweeping from sa node to over the within the atrial myocardium right downward and leftward right it means atria are being depolarized downward and leftward why atria are depolarized downward and leftward because origin of depolarization that is sa node is present in the atria on the right side and upper side because in both atria which are stimulated by the sa node but position of the sa node is right and up so from here you can say electrical current is generated in this fashion right and these small vectors which are generated due to waves of depolarization these vectors are moving downward and leftward 
and again you remember the right atrium and left atrium they are syncytium is that right due to that reason electrical current sweeps simultaneously on the right atrium and left atrium right now all this these vectors depolarizing currents can be added together right and when they are added together then what really happens that all of them together they will make one single vector which is directed downward and leftward now this vector is representing the electromagnetic force which is produced in the heart when both atria are undergoing the process of depolarization and both atria are having the spread of depolarization so this is atrial depolarization vector right now atria are thin atrial myocardium is thin because atrial myocardium is thin so this vector will be small secondly atria do not have very specialized and very fast conducting system atria undergo depolarization moderately so we say there is a small vector which is moving downward and leftward is that right and with moderate velocity this is the first electrical event in the heart during the cardiac cycle what is the first electrical event atrial depolarization is that right and that is represented by atrial depolarization is represented by a vector which is small vector moving small depolarizing vector moving downward and leftward with moderate velocity am i clear this is the first electrical event so in a simple diagram we can represent the first electrical event like this right so this is your first electrical event clear after that when both atria are completely depolarized right when atria both atria are completely depolarized then what happens that these depolarizing waves will hit the fibrous annulus now this fibrous tissue which is present between the atria and ventricle this is not a very good conductor so most of the depolarizing current which hit this fibrous partition right that will die out because from here from these points depolarization cannot go down the only single point from where depolarization can go from atria down to the ventricle is av node what is that point yes please av node the only electrical window between the atria and ventricle is av node so all the electrical depolarizing currents which hit to the fibrous septum they will be dead the only those electrical depolarization which hit the av node they will be taking the current gradually to the ventricle is that right so first electrical event is depolarization of atria which is represented by a small vector moving downward and leftward right small depolarizing vector moving downward and leftward with moderate velocity the second electrical event is that stimulation of av node what is the second electrical event that is stimulation of av node now let me draw the av node as a large tissue let's suppose this is the av node now av node has a very special specialization av node is modified myocardium it is a specialized myocardium and av node has specialized in slow conduction av node is specialized in slow conduction because when atrial current touches the av node av node conduct the current very very slowly so that current takes or depolarization take about 0.1 second 